I wanted to paint a built-in cabinet with a smooth finish, and compared a water-based gloss paint with an oil-based semi-gloss paint. The oil paint won with just one coat, giving a smoother, glossier, and more durable finish. Here are 15 tips for achieving a smooth, semi-gloss oil paint finish on built-in cabinetry. Use optimal equipment for oil paint. I was able to buy my supplies at my local Home Depot and Ace Hardware. Oil painting benefits from using an oil paint additive. Paint additive is key to achieving the smoothest finish, especially on large, flat areas. Stirring the paint during use is necessary, so keep a paint stick handy. Pour the paint and additive into an empty can to make room for the new mixture. If your paint is too thin, add the original paint to the mix. Plan ahead for cleanup along the way. Use a clean, sealable metal can for cleaning brushes and rollers with mineral spirits. Mineral spirits can be reused for cleaning oil-based paints and stains. Once used, solids will settle and you can pour off the still liquid mineral spirits into a can and properly dispose of the leftover solids. After cleaning, solids in the sealed metal can will settle over time and the mineral spirits can be reused again. For cut-ins and details, use quality brushes made for oil-based paints. The two best I tried were a pro-quality China bristle brush, specifically for oil paint, and a quality nylon paintbrush for all paint types, which was my favorite. Use a foam roller for large, flat areas. Other roller covers, although made specifically for oil paint, left fibers on my paint that I needed to pick off. The foam roller, made for smooth surfaces and cabinetry, made painting flat surfaces easier. While rolling, I found that laying the paint evenly and covering all areas with an adequate amount of paint was ideal. For achieving a smooth finish, I rolled over the entire piece in smooth, overlapping, light strokes, repeating this until the surface appeared smooth and not speckled. For painting large boxes, cut in and roll each side, the top, the back, then the bottom of the box. Paint the outside trim last. This prevents getting paint on yourself along the way. For best adhesion, wipe surfaces clean right before painting, even if you had cleaned and prepped them a few days prior. For brush painting, use long feather light strokes from end to end to get a smooth finish. If you make a mistake with your strokes, the oil paint with additive is forgiving. Just paint over it with long strokes feathering off at the ends while the paint is still wet. A face mask and gloves makes painting safer and more comfortable. Paint in a ventilated area. Turn on fan vents and open windows on days that are 50 degrees Fahrenheit and above to help with airing the strong paint smells. Wait 24 hours for each coat to dry. If the finish is not what you want, sand with a fine grit, wipe clean, and recoat, focusing on leaving a smooth finish. A multipurpose tool is handy for opening paint cans and scraping old paint for a smoother prep surface. Paint the inside of doors first. Wait 24 hours before recoating. After another 24 hours has passed, you can attach the doors, close them, and paint the fronts of the drawers and doors in place to prevent damage to your finished coats. Oil-based semi-glass paint requires more work than water-based but has given this built-in a smooth, durable, reflective finish. Thank you for learning with me. Until next time.